Hey everybody, today we're going to go over what to expect when you get your new Temp Defender G2 from DPS. So if we go ahead and look in the box here, we got two things. We got the RTU itself as well as our setup kit. So if we pull out this setup kit and check out what's in here, we'll see that one, we have a bag of cables here. With each unit we ship a USB-A to USB-B serial cable, an Ethernet cable, and a USB that has a manual on there and some other stuff. Also, we have some rack ears for mounting the unit into a rack. We also have a bag of hardware here. Now this has some screws uh, for mounting the unit into the rack. We got some fuses as well as a power connector. And lastly, we have a paper here. It says, where's the user manual? All of our manuals are on our website at dpstelly.com forward slash my DPS. So you can just go there and download the manual for your unit. Now, if we get back into the box here, we'll pull out the RTU itself. Bring it over here. Get that off of there. And there it is. So on the front panel here, we have our craft port, our status LEDs, an ACK button, and a volume wheel. So the Temp Defender G2 actually has a speaker inside, and you adjust the volume on that speaker with the volume wheel here. If we flip it over, over here we have our power connector, and right next to our power connector we have our acceptable voltage range as well as our amperage. Here we have a spot for our fuse. Here we have our alarm and analog inputs as well as our relay outputs. On this build, we have an internal temperature sensor, as well as four D-wire ports, one RS-232 serial port, and our LAN port. And one thing that's super cool about the Temp Defender is the snap-down connectors. So when you go to wire up all your inputs and outputs, all you have to do is feed your wires into these slots, snap down the connector, and you're ready to go. Okay, so one last thing we have to do before we get this guy in the rack and finish setup is come back to our setup kit and grab a fuse and put it in the unit. We put our fuses in the kit and not in the unit, so make sure you don't lose this. So we grab our fuse and put it in just like that, and we're ready to go. Now we can get this guy in the rack and finish setting it up. And remember, as always, if you have questions, feel free to call DPS at 1-800-693-0351. Talk to you later, guys.